Considering the options. One, our son says only three kids in his class have no sibling. Says he can't push himself on the swing. Yet pregnancy is a risky stranger exhaling fear like cigarette smoke. There's the pregnancy that didn't last, didn't stick, the lost baby, as if we'd set him aside, a forgotten package on a train. Two, large envelopes arrive by mail. Our mouths are stuffed with worry. Dossier, home study, intercountry, interracial. We clutch pen pencils, add vertical numbers, realize awkwardly that it's like buying a new car, a down payment on a lake cabin, a depletion without guarantee. Three, another winter Sunday, and in Minneapolis, a new mother slams her 18-day-old baby into a crusty snowbank, winds up and throws that soft body like a pitcher's fastball. Four, we are sending ourselves down river. Form 9A, detailed life history, my underage consumption, an aged infraction, do I have it, questionable character? Form 10B, asks how many children my brother has. Form 11A, a residence history, domestic and foreign. Form 12A, references, referrals, names of those who know our bones, our marrow, our minds, whether or not we like to ignite things, love our mothers, like the feel of gun steel. The papers stack like sheets of glass. Five, the news report. On a flight to the Philippines, between stalks of sunshine and cloud, a woman gives birth. She throws the baby in the bathroom trash. Later, she is identified by her blood-stained seat, a red-ringed map. Six. Outside, the dirty snow remains. Spring is an undeveloped photograph. The cat's incessant yowling scratches at my brain. I throw her outside, a little too hard if I'm being truthful, and she lands and lifts her nose as if to say, well. Perhaps Form 6A should read, describe the last time you lost your patience with an animal or human. Instead, Form 6A makes sure I'm not too fat.